The entrance of God's word gives light and it brings understanding to the simple. Even as you're about listening to this message by the man of God, we hope that the light of God's word will be shed abroad in your heart. You will know what to do and you will know how to live. And so if you're new to this channel, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this message. Also go to the comment section and comment whatever you have learned. Share this message abroad because we won't always be a blessing to the world. Thank you. Recently there's been a phenomenon uh, on social media where pastors are leading prayer sessions on the phone in the night and in the morning. It's a very big one in Nigeria, which is followed by people in Ghana. Sometimes 1.5 million people are tuned in to listen to a pastor they can't see and he's just leading them in prayer using scriptures. The prayers that are most popular, if you look at the way in which the social media goes up, the prayers that are most popular are the one that you pray, fire will burn you. Let the fire burn your enemies. And then they all go, ta -ta 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 -ta, the fire burns their enemies. In Ghana, we had a similar phenomenon. It used to be called Mopa. It's still called Mopa. It's old. It's a new one called Alpha R. Some of the ministers of the gospel were concerned about this phenomenon. Yep. I spoke to one of them, and he led me to a scripture. Uh, it was a scripture that I believe Gamaliel was telling the, uh, the council mm -hmm. about Peter and co. If it be of God. Yeah, if it be of God, it will remain. Is that the simple answer? And I, I told the pastor, this is just too simple. He said, he well, has nothing to say. If well, again, God, it will last. Again, like I have said, Christianity mm -hmm. is apostolic mm -hmm. and historic. Mm -hmm. What the apostles never did, we're not supposed to do. I never saw any apostle in the scripture who did that pattern of ministry. No, but Mobile. there was no mobile phone at that time. Dr. Well, Dr. again, there was no mobile phone. Yeah, it's a communication. But there could have been other forms of doing that communication. The Bible teaches... Was there an apostle who was on TV? You were on TV, Dr. Damien. There was no, but again, like I've said, <laughs> it's apostolic and historic. Yes. So we have to abide by apostolic practices. God wants the believer to develop a relationship with him that is independent of anybody helping him. God wants you to know him by yourself for yourself this yeah, but that's what they are doing they're leading people that's, to god that's what they're doing right yeah. okay. because the technology is new now yes. you're on tv but apostle peter was never on tv yes uh, so if you're saying we should do what the apostles did you shouldn't be on tv well again remember i'm on tv to teach god's word yes they are on the if radio the apostles, to help people if the pray. apostles if the apostles were alive they will be on TV to teach God's word. If because the apostles were alive, they will they hold went. a mobile phone, rally in the night so teaching. people can go on. And I'm teaching the word on mobile phones. No, they are leading them in prayer. Well, again, the Bible tells us in the book of, uh, of, of Ephesians, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, Absolutely. but against principalities and powers. Correct. Okay? So a believer is supposed to develop a personal prayer life on his own. Mm -hmm. A personal prayer life. But if I'm not able to develop a personal prayer life, why wouldn't and you? I know that every midnight, Alpha Hour will be on from midnight to two, and that becomes my foundation to build my prayer life. What's wrong with that? The point I'm making is beyond that, mm -hmm. a believer ought to have a personal prayer life that is built on serving Christ. Secondly, a believer's prayer is not supposed to be self-centered. It's supposed to be Christ and the kingdom-centered. Look at all the prayers. Suffered out a wish to live. Now, look at all the prayers in the New Testament. There was no such prayer. But the suffered out a wish to live. That's a personal prayer. Well, that, was in, the, the in your that family. was in the Old Testament. There, I get confused again and when you say Old Testament. Scripture. So it's single it has gospel. no corroboration anywhere. Suffer not a wish to live. It has no corroboration anywhere. So is what? We should not ignore it. Yes. We should ignore it. Yes. And let the witches live. Who did Jesus die for? Enemies. Yes, give since. Christ that when you were enemies. But it says if you, if you prayed on your enemies, it's like you're heaping coals of fire on their head. Yeah, but so so pray and bless them. So that you heap coals of fire on their head. If the church had prayed for Paul to die when he was wasting the church, you will not have half of your New Testament today. Why would the church pray for Paul to die? Just like they're praying for people to die today. But Paul was with the church. That was, oh, you mean when he was persecuting the church? Yes. yes, but they prayed for him to die. They certainly that did. That was an act of witchcraft. No, there's no such record that they But Peter was to refusing die. to help Paul, even when the Lord told him, go and deal with that man. Peter yeah, was he refusing. was afraid. He didn't want to be killed. He was angry. No, no, he was afraid. He was angry that the, the great love you, of Jesus is being extended you, to this rogue. But if you read, you see what Ananias, when Ananias was asked to pray, he said, Lord, do you know the kind of havoc this guy is causing and you're sending him to that guy? He kills people. And Jesus said, go thy way. He said, chosen vessel to bear my name. 
And Ananias went with that encouragement. They were just afraid of him because he knew he was killing everywhere. But he was blind. He was blind just for that was not just at the time jesus told them to go that he was, was blind that was not permanent blindness i, I know but uh -huh. at the time jesus said go to paul he was blind and then ananias prayed for him and he received his sight yeah so i'm suggesting that, to you that they were not afraid anymore they were angry no that was a miracle they could yeah, have been angry miracle. in one sense but that anger didn't stop them from extending what god has instructed them to carry out to him i remember with enemies jesus said pray for your enemies bless those that curse you that you may be like your father which is in heaven which means your father in heaven's wish for everybody who hates you is for you to pray for them, for you to desire for them to be saved. The will of God is for all men to be saved. Witches, non-witches, wicked, non-wicked. That's God's purpose. That's why Jesus died. And the church must be seen agreeing with God to believe God for the salvation of all men. If I come to work one evening and this is my chair, I come and they've poured black powder on it. And I take my phone and I call my pastor. I said, Sovo, there's black powder. I said, put your right hand there. Take a bit of water. Let's start. Anybody who has done this, return to sender. Return to sender. We're going to kill them. If they want to kill four of us, they will kill thousands of four by my right hand. Ten thousand shall fall. Only with my eyes will I be holding. We're praying. Is that correct? Well, the believer ought to know his authority. Mm -hmm. And know that all those things, you trample over them. Mm -hmm. And they shall not hurt you. So when I see that, should I call the pastor or not? Don't need. Why should you call the pastor? What should I do? I should sit on it? When you're taught, you just clean it. <laughs> sit on it. Thing off and sit there. But if I sit there and I start feeling it in my back, it's a, it's a kind of thing. No, you won't, my feel, head. you won't feel because if you know your authority and you know that Jesus destroyed principalities and powers and he made a public show of you and triumph over them, if you know that, you will not be afraid of any of such things. Satan is the least thing to worry about. Hmm. You're so grateful for having you here on our platform. Kindly hit the subscribe button if you are new here. And also like this message for us. Do well to comment in the comment section because we want to know what you learned and where you're watching us from. Thank you, message community.